The All Blacks kicked off their Rugby World Cup 2015 campaign with a good, structured win over their closest group rivals, Argentina. Now things start to get quite tricky. They start to get the banana skin about them as Namibia, our opponent number two in the group stage of the World Cup 2015. Hello, everyone, and welcome along to Cornflake Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2, and the road to the World Cup with Cornflake. Well, the road is almost complete. The World Cup is here, and the greatest stage of all is about to be opened once again. Namibia, the opponents of the All Blacks today, and these guys, it's a huge achievement for them just to get into the World Cup. Anything they achieve here is just above and beyond the extra. They have the potential, they are growing countries, and they can always improve. Can they match the All Blacks up front? Can they match them anywhere on the field? That'll be their goal. That'll be their targets. What they can achieve is up to them and their belief. It's great to have the minnows of the World Cup, and this is a real test of where they are at. The All Blacks have made a few changes from their game against Argentina. Good opportunity here to really explore the squad and to give everyone that match fitness they require. Changes all through the whole team, really. It'll be interesting to see how Piranara adapts to his new first choice, the number nine role. If he can get a good performance here, it will be good for the All Blacks with Aaron Smith out with injury, of course, if you recall, in match number one against Argentina. Aaron Smith is out. Outside him, Sopawanga, Sonny Bill Williams and Malachi Fikitao. Flake gets a bit of redemption after a horrid match against Argentina. He starts on the left wing this time with Piatel coming in on the right. A plenty of chances here for these guys to impress for the rest of the tournament. Liam Messam will lead the hacker for the All Blacks. Kevin Mahalamu will captain the side. Another passionate hacker from the All Blacks. The second string side looking to put their name and lights in the grandest stage of the all World Cup time. And we are good to go. Underway we are about to get. Namibia will be receiving the kickoff in the blue. The All Blacks, of course, and the black. Sopuanga at the half. He kicks things off. We are underway. And the All Blacks do not get the ball. It is Namibia who's picked it up. One jumper against three. Waterman goes away and it's Frank who's lost the ball. Sopoanga picks it up and the All Blacks have a chance here to get some early possession. But to Namibia say no. Well, Frank, there he is, the man. No, it's well, not Frank in the knock on. Well, that's surprising. Ever Son is picking up there. Sure, we saw 14 Crouch. Frank involved in Crouch. that play somewhere along the road. But in the end, a knock Gee. on all the same All Black scrum. Piranara feeds, and Piranara quickly hits it out. No, Kaino is left for it all. Sonny Bill Williams through the middle. Sonny Bill out wide. Misses out and goes to Flake, and he plants the ball down. First try for Flake in the World Cup, and the first try for the All Blacks here against Namibia. Well, Sonny Bill created it all. I thought Piranara was going to quickly take this blind side. You see him pop off. But he gave it to Kaino to go. And here's Sonny Bill through the middle. Big gaping hole. Massive cutout pass over and through Malachi Fikatoa. And Flake, well, he planted that ball down with immense anger as if frustration from the match against Argentina where he was abysmal. Now he gets some payback, some retribution, and he grabs the first try. He is the main man here for the All Blacks. Such a rise to glory throughout the years from club rugby just 12 months or so ago. Here he is, World Cup group stage. And here is another one, Lima Sopawanga. 
who has risen through the ranks and his kick and goal was beautiful. Beautifully judges it with the weather and the wind and slides it between the posts for another two. It's 7 0 New Zealand over Namibia. Can they stem the flow already in Namibia? They need to get the ball, they need to get some possession and territory. Or will the All Blacks just prove to be consistently too strong? Messam flicks around the corner. Connor Whitelock gets a good ball. Again, it's Sonny Bill. Fikatoa. Oh, good tackle. And Malachi Fikatoa planted to the ground. Sopawanga goes to Whitelock, who fires a ball out. Here's Perinara running away from the defence. He's up against the fullback. And it's Crombie. Oh, Crombie's missed him completely. And Perinara goes through the ball. And he's in for the second try. Wow, that was a horrible effort from Crombie at the back. Second try is in the books, and the All Blacks are looking good. You can't argue with this early form, TJ Perinara. Just ran around the outside of the ball. Crombie missed a horrible attempt to at tackle, and Van Answigen, the blindside flanker, chased hard. He couldn't catch him, and Mulimia was the other, the inside centre. No chance for him at all. He was the quickest. There he is. Umulima. Big chase. And a difficult name as well. Gotta love those African names. Definitely keeping everyone honest. Here's Lima Sopawanga back to the tee. Feels like just moments ago he was there. With his first shot at goal. A beautiful kick as well. Here's attempt number two. A lot more easier situation for him, and he nails another one. It's 14 0 All Blacks over Namibia. Well, we mentioned it already, didn't we, that it's going to come down to how well Namibia can defend and how well they can stem the flow of this All Black juggernaut. What they would give for some players of the quality that New Zealand can even not select is Perinara. Finds another kickoff down his throat. Sopawanga over the top of the defenders. Finds Williams. Williams and Fikatawa. Fikatawa through some space. He comes up and gets the fullback. Crombie again. This time he lets them down. Good tackle from the fullback for Namibia. And he's going to turn him over. Isolation for Fikatawa. Good ball out. Finds Bresler. Release. And he hits it up on halfway. Adrian. Finding space out wide, Patterson eventually goes there to the number nine, Kearney, and he taken down and look at flakers in a heap in the sideline. Good work from Kearney, putting him away as here's a short run from Watermeyer. Namibia stringing some phases together as Frank goes wide and again it's Bresler. The All Blacks. Stiff an opportunity and they'll turn this over. This is good work here. Sopawanga away for Williams. Looking to go around the outside. Nipple pass. He's missed it completely. Oh, good around there from Bosman. He has bulldozed off. Beertel eventually gets all oh, intercept pass. Namibia get it back. And they're running through Patterson. Please. Three defenders couldn't take him down. Good stuff here from Namibia as they come wide. Opportunities. Frank again on Perinara. Big high tackle and a yellow card. Oh, that's a huge call. Instantly going to the pocket, not messing about, saying, You're professional, TJ Perinara. You should not make mistakes like that. Yellow instantly. Namibia sniffing the chance. They're going to go for touch. Oh, hello. Namibia has arrived. They're looking for five points. And why not as well? Sopawanga will play scrum half. Full seven man line outs. Bromo will throw and gives it to Wylock. Sopawanga away for Williams. Williams running at the line. Fikatoa. Options out wide for Piertau. Knocks on. Oh, dreadful. From Charles Piertau. Big open space. He spills the ball everywhere. Running short. Namibia keeping it in the forwards as Watermeyer goes back and finds room for Hallier, giving it options to Bossman again and infield, Van Answick is the one who takes it to ground on the 10 metre line, Namibia with a chance here, Van Answick again finds it to Mulmia. Frank has 2 on 1, he takes the first option, gets some room in here for Frank Frank up against Dag. Dag takes him down, good tackle Israel Dag. chances are plenty here for Namibia it's Sam Kane who's Hoyt that in the air 
and a finds touch. Not really what the All Blacks will be looking for, but clearance all the same. Good 35 metres out here. Ah, Namibia, a line out throw. Brummer again. Finds Wylog. That's dreadful. Williams, he's going to have to do some kicking now with Sopwanger and Scrum Half. He kicks over the top. Piertel giving chase. Here, yeah, look out. It's running through his fucking tower as well. And look at the All Blacks. Sam Kane, second man to the breakdown. He secures the ball. Massam, away to Sopwanger. Over the top to Williams. And he's straight and through the middle and scores for the All Blacks. Wow, that was too easy, far too easy for Sonny Bill Williams. Created the space, made the overlap, and just coasted straight through. We've seen him do this many times in this match already. The option taking from Namibia on defense was not the best, and they did pay the price in the end. Ultimately, the try to Sonny Bill Williams. Big pass from Sopawanga. Flat one. Straight in front of a few forwards as well. You see Bresler, Brummer were waiting there, but could not keep up with the fancy feet and the express acceleration of Sonny Bill Williams. Well, he dots down to his first try of the tournament. The second rate side is proving to be a good knock at the moment. Sopawanga. Will give us half time with his third successful kick and 21 0. The All Blacks doing this one easy at the moment as we go to the break for half time between these two sides. New Zealand 21, Namibia 0 0. An entertaining match so far, but ultimately New Zealand proving they are too good for this Minnow Nation. I do hope, though, they'll give up a bit of a fight in the second half and bring it to the All Blacks, score some points, hopefully, in this match and bring some respect back to the scoreline. It is a tough ask, I know, especially against a side like New Zealand, but they've shown they have the ability. We've seen multiple chances for players like Bosman and Frank, the two wingers especially. Crombie's defence has been a bit average, but still, all in all, chances for Namibia have gone begging. The yellow card as well to Piranara. Not the best for the All Blacks. They'll be hoping that that's out of his system for this one at least. The line break count is big. 6-1. to one. The All Blacks taking that one in position near on 70% to 30. The All Blacks in control of their second pool match of Rugby World Cup 2015. Namibia need to fight back in the second half. Can they do it? Can they get some confidence going forward into the rest of their World Cup? Eberson is back at halfway. And he'll be kicking off the second half. The lead is 21. 21 0. New Zealand over Namibia. Deep kick again. Messon pulls this one and finds Sopawanga. Oh, he busts through one and finds Williams. He flicks away. Oh, he's coming it away. A chance here for Namibia. It was a Williamia. And he just about gets through eventually. Bresler nice. takes it to ground. The All Blacks are desperate on the fence. The Mibia want to try. They sub it in Van Eswigen, keeping it short to Watermeyer. Good tackle coming in from the All Black defensive line. Here's a run from Adrian, and he's ooh, driven backwards. Nice. Not the best run from the second row at all. Now, Keone gives it away to Everson, who is nice. hammered. Defense is tough, and the All Blacks will turn this one over. Here they go. Piranara back on the field. Oh! Big shot on Piranara and the ball straight back to Namibia. They look wide. Keone gets hammered. Nice. Big defense and there's a few players down looking slow at getting up. There's a chance here for Bossman as he goes high and it comes down for Kane who has not called Mark. Nice. There's a chance for Namibia. Can they get the ball back? Oh, they will. They will. Sam Kane. Big mistake. Short ball. And Keone gets hammered, and Wylock says thanks for that. Kaino, away to Williams, quick hands. Sopawanga over the top, Fika Tower. It's two and one against Crombie, and the pass, the flag, and it's all over. It will be too express for the best that World Rugby has to offer. But for here, Namibia, he scores an easy canter away. What a chase, though, coming from the other side of the field. I think that was Frank, who was steaming across. Would have cut Flake off from the post as well. But Fikatoa try assist. 
Beautiful play, well worked, and an easy finish for one man who has a point to prove. Flake out there on the left, scores a good try. Yeah, that was Frank who was steaming back. Great work from him, getting in back, getting the passion, getting right in there. Dana's great commitment. Well worked from him, but Flake, he's very quick. We've seen it time and time again this season throughout all levels. And the All Blacks add number four. Another bonus point for the side as well. 26 nil. Lima Sopawanga looking to make it 28. Does so. And well, this period of Namibia's dominance, you could say, early in the second half, has been squashed rather dramatically from the All Blacks as they go 100 metres to score back the other way. Ibisons back at halfway. Namibia kicking back off. 55 minutes, ticks up on the clock as a high one. Finds Piertau, who we haven't seen hardly anything from. Kane. Kane! Oh, big run! What an offload from Farmwina! Here's Bielamu. Finds Sopawanga. Sopawanga looks for Flank. Flank looks to stamp. And he's so for another. This is a hat track. Colin Flank is in for another. He has been on top of his game. Wow, this is a performance he really needed. He's taken Julian Savier's jersey for this minnow match and he has really dominated. Sopawanga again the break, but he had work to do. Keone come across and he smoked him with a step off the right foot and left him for dust. Once again, Frank was the one coming across, stopped him from going under the sticks. Good work again, Mr. White right winger. He has done well defending. But like we said just minutes ago, Flank is too quick. And now he looks like he's a good option again for the All Blacks on the wing in their first 15. Julian Savier, of course, will be back when the crunch matches will come for the All Blacks. Surely he'll get some game time against some of these other sides as well. But for now, for today, Namibia. Go off further, two points behind, 35-0, the All Blacks. They're leading this one convincingly. 20 minutes still to go on the clock. Back underway we go, Eberson with a short kickoff. Straight down the middle of the park and the All Blacks easily pick it up and the ball somehow scrubs out of that tackle. Miss him, the big ball away for Israel Dag up in the defense, up in the attacking line I should say. And he loses the ball as well. Good play, Namibia. And there's a bust away from Bossman. He's up over the 10-minute line. Finds support as well. It's there for De Bruyne. He goes up over the 10-minute line. This is good work here from Namibia. Can they continue? Kearney. He'll look short side. And Bossman quickly switches play. Wide they come now through Adrian. And he slips up for Frank. And look at this from Kane. Picks him up and drags him over the touchline. Good work defensively. The All Blacks had that covered all day long. Here come some changes as well. Frank's on for Farmawina. We also have some other changes as well on the back line. Curbalo coming on for Piranara. And we also have Barrett on for Sopawanga. Just three changes. The All Blacks. We'll have the line out wide lock to Kerbalo. Long injury layoff for him, but he's back now. And Black and Barrett shows a great turn of pace. He looks wide. Oh, dreadful ball to Fikatawa. But Dag picks it up. Dag's wrapped up a good tackle. Fikatawa pulls in his offload. Woodcock involved. Here's Barrett again. Oh, he's too fast. Bottom Barrett here's Express. That is why he's so dangerous. Oh, he's shown up the Namibians here with a fantastic try. Twice in that play he was involved and twice he was just too fast. How did Dag throw that ball away? They looked forward that pass as well. Look at this, Barrett, damn, bam, straight through. This is good, the All Blacks. Getting some real momentum out there. Some may say it's too easy for them, but it's confidence is a big part. And continuity is what these players all need together. They've shown a lot of that today. It can be very easy for a side to lose focus with a lot of changes. New players coming in. They lose that 
connection that they have as Barrett will look to convert his own try, which he does. It is 42 to nil. One team is in this one, the other has been long out of it. Namibia, well, their attack of the All Blacks was ended with that 100 meter try scored by Flake. It really squashed any courage left in the side as Massim finds Williams in a high tackle. Oh, this is bad for Namibia. They're going to lose De Bruyne. He's going to be gone for 10. There he goes. Oh, that's a massive loss. The number eight is out of here. And the All Blacks will look to kick for touch here. Carballo will do the in-play kicking. His kick is all oh, perfect from Carballo. Gotta love that. Right on his limits. Hits the 22 on the money. Line out All Blacks. Mielamu to throw. Full seven man to the back and Kane finds Kerbalo who dallies around the touch before giving to Barrett. Williams! Williams through the middle! Oh, Sonny Bill Williams! That is beautiful! Too easy for him in the end, but it was still silky smooth skills to step up his left, go in field and then cut back off the right. Gun it for the corner, Kerbalo. Barrett, this was nice. Sonny Bill cuts in. Sees the defence covering. Good work from Crombie to get close. But in the end, could not match the speed of Sonny Bill Williams. I think Barrett has been quite influential coming onto the field as well as a substitute. May him see him starting in their third match. But for now, Namibia have been comprehensively dispatched. 47-0. Kick to come. Still time possibly for a kickoff. Couple of minutes remaining. Barrett slots it. And it looks like we will still have time to get back underway. This is good. 49 nil is the score. Now maybe you will just want to go home here. They'll want to go back to the hotel. They'll want to rest and look for a shinier day on the other side of this massacre. One could call it. Dag, oh, how'd he get that out there as well? Dag comes back to Fikatoa. And the All Blacks look to drive. But Dag just quickly says, let's get out of there. Now he offloads to Romano. Back to Franks running deep. And look at this from Franks. Franks is running away from the ball. Big pass to Woodcock. And Woodcock knocks on. Flake hammers it into touch. And we are done and dusted here. The ball is in touch. Well, it does appear that Flake has had the final say in this match. A fantastic game it was that we won't get to see the stats for how it panned out. But I'm sure you all enjoyed the fixture all the same. Now we're not going to see any more action, not going to see any more stats. Full time was up, the ball in touch. We will blow the referee's whistle for him. Beep, 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 beep. Full time. And let's check out the table. Other results from around the competition as 31 men stare at the crowd and look for a rugby ball. So the All Blacks did finally get that win thanks to a few hiccups and a few magic words to things are back to normal. 49-0, we missed out on some stats, but either way, we're here in the end. 49-0, New Zealand over Namibia. Other matches to go through the rounds. We have a few to make up here. Argentina over Georgia. France pipping Italy. A big one there. Ireland just over Canada as well. That's a very close one. On to round three. Australia have thrashed England. Massive result. Wales over Uruguay. Scotland beating Japan. Samoa taking out USA. Argentina over Tonga, Namibia bouncing back over Georgia, Ireland thrashing Romania, France over Canada, and into round four we have more. Fiji over Wales, another huge result. Uruguay have beaten England. Four, who saw this coming? 
Whoa, South Africa 15 now over USA. Another big result somehow over Japan. Next up, we have the All Blacks Georgia, but hold your phone. Hold the phone. 22 15, Uruguay over England. Gotta love this randomizing the World Cup. So, this is where we get interested here. New Zealand lead the way, two from two in pool three. Ten points from them, Argentina, no surprise. Second, uh, Georgia three, Namibia four, Tonga five. That could still ship up and shape up quite differently for the rest of this competition. In pool four, Ireland and France lead the way. Ireland doing it easy at the moment. Canada still in with a shot. Italy and Romania are all but done into pool one. This is the big one. Look at this. England, one draw against Wales and two losses. Wow, Uruguay are second on nine points. Australia cleaning up at the moment, 15 for them. Wales in third on seven. Tournament still not over. Fiji in the middle. Wow, what a pull that is. What a pull between these countries. Unbelievable stuff. In pool two, South Africa uh, up top. Samoa, no surprise. In two, Scotland hanging on by a thread. Could still pip Samoa to second. That'll be a big pull to finish up. Japan and USA. Round it out. Right, on to round four, and hopefully no bugs get involved this time. We have New Zealand versus Georgia. Eden Park is the place. Obviously, not, not exactly where it's going to be, but round four of the Rugby World Cup. New Zealand could cement their place in the next round with a win here, and then they just have Tonga to go after that. This is another chance to test some combinations, probably Muli and some, some regular first teamers for this one. But all in all, a good performance for the World Cup so far for the All Blacks. Flake grabbing three tries, which is huge for him after a disappointing match against Argentina. But for now, then is my time done and dusted. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Shame about what happened at the end of that match, but full time was upon us. Regardless, a great match anyway. 49-0, what a result for the All Blacks. I'll be back again for round four of the World Cup. New Zealand up against Georgia, the third match for the All Blacks. I hope to see you there as well. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.